And if I click the button, it should just start recording. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be covering the DVR for the VR005 and as well as the URUAV goggle. So before beginning, let's talk about some of the components that are needed in order to finish this. And it, these components for both of these are exactly identical. One is we're going to need the Runcam DVR, which I'll have linked down below. What's really nice about this is that they do provide you with the cables that are going to need you to complete this whole mod, which is really awesome and it is very very tiny however take something into consideration this records every five minutes so it just cuts it up into five minute segments so keep that in mind here so it's really tiny and it comes with the wires needed so let's put this down to the side next thing and something that's very very important to have even just to keep a couple around is one of these guys now be careful when purchasing these they come in many different types of flavors and what do i mean by that well, one of them can take a 1.5 volt output and change it to 3.3. One could take a 3.3 and change it to 1.5, and you get what I'm going with this. There's a lot of them. However, there's this one that we need, which is 3.3 to 5 volts. It's very important because there is no 5 volt regulators on any of these, and we need to step up the 3.3 volts or the battery voltage to a stable 5 volt for the Runcam DVR here. Next, you'll need two more silicone wires or just any type of wires. These are going to come in useful and I'll show you what I mean in a bit. And last but not least, that's not really important. If you have a 3D printer, you can do an enclosure like this here, which makes it really nice and portable. As you can see, here's the SD card. There is a Runcam DVR in here also. I didn't put all of them. And there's even a button right here that actually works. I found this on Thingiverse. I'll have it linked down below. Huge shout out to the guy who created this. Really awesome. Saved me a lot of time. All right, so let me show you how to identify everything and prepare everything. But before that, word from our sponsor. PCBWay is one of the largest PCB manufacturers and is a really great place to have your PCB manufacturer. Whether you're a hobbyist or a company, it is a great place to go. They have fast service, great quality, great customer support, and a file pre-check service where they have a human actually check your file before proceeding with the printing service in order to reduce any chances of error. Not only that, they have assembly services and they have much, much more. So go ahead and check the links down below to PCBWay.com. The first thing we want to do is we want to identify the pins on the receiver. There's obviously going to be a ground, voltage, RSSI, audio, video, and possibly another ground and three more uh, pins here that'll allow you to change the channel through the buttons. All right, so the way to figure this out is I've actually memorized the order that most of these come, but to also verify that it is correct, I do use an oscilloscope and I actually do use this little tiny one, which is called DS213, which is a really great oscilloscope. And there's also the DS212, which I use instead of bringing my big ass oscilloscope here just to test one pin. Now, what I like to do first on these, because usually most of them, like 95% of them are identical, is I'd put it in continuity mode, hold the shielding, and just touch the, not the, yeah, touch these here. So we see we have, this is a ground here, and this should be a ground, okay. So usually when you find the first ground that's on the first pin, it would be video, audio, RSSI, and then the voltage. So this is going to be the 3.3 volts or 5 volts, depending. Here it's battery voltage. So what we need to do is we need this voltage here, and we also need this ground here, and we're going to take it into our step-up converter to change the battery voltage into 5 volts so we can power the DVR. So first thing I want to do is solder some wires up there. So this one is going to be the voltage. So that's going to be battery voltage, and this one's going to be ground here. I'm gonna keep it blue, as in like it's cold. Now, take note, you should add some solder before doing this. I have already done that, but I just wanted to redo everything to show you how everything works. Now, the next step is we need the DVR here. Now, this is very important because not everything is gonna go on one side. So what we're gonna need here is we're gonna need, obviously, ground the video in and the five volt in. Very important, five volt in here. So here's the five volt in, give it some time. Here's the ground. And as you can tell, this one is video out, but that's not what we need. We need video in, which is this one, VIN right here. 
So there we go. And there's also audio. If you wanted to connect audio, you can totally connect audio. I'll show you which one uh, outputs audio on the receiver. And you can even actually modify this to bring you audio if you wanted to, but that's a different story. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna grab the female. So they do provide you these two cables in the package. Now I wanna grab the female one, which has, which looks like this here. And I wanna go ahead and solder the correct colors. All right, so that's done here. We have the five volt in, ground, and the video in, which is VIN, very important. So we're done with the DVR for now. Now let's bring back our board here. And remember how we took the battery voltage and the ground? We're gonna go ahead and grab the step up converter here. Now, as you can tell, we have VI, VO, and a middle pin. Now the VI is the voltage in, that's gonna be coming in, which is gonna be coming in from this one. This is gonna be ground, which is gonna come from here and also go to whatever it is that we want to step up the voltage to five volts. And the VO is gonna be the positive five volts that's gonna be going to the DVR. So let's grab our, this is going to be our battery voltage, or let's just call it 3.3 volts. That's gonna go into the V in right here. All right, once that's soldered in, I'm gonna go ahead and get the ground, which is the first one right here, and we're gonna put it right in the middle. Okay, so it should look something like this. The ground is going to be to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth is gonna be the battery voltage or the 3.3 volts, and that's gonna to go to the VI. Now we have the VO left, and the middle pad's also gonna be ground out. So the next thing, I wanna grab the other connector here, which is also found in the DVR, and this is the male type. So we're gonna need the positive and negative. So red's gonna to go to the VO, which is voltage out. And we're left with the black wire, which is gonna go right in the middle above this one right here. Okay, so now the, both of the grounds are together right there in the middle. V in, which is coming in from here, and VO, which is going here. Now we're left with the yellow cable for the DVR. And that's just gonna go right next to the ground right there. That's gonna be the video. Now we're good. So what's next to do? Well, actually nothing, we're done. We just plug this guy right in. And now this has DVR. So it's just really that simple. There's nothing to it. It's just pretty crazy. So I've also 3D printed this little case here, which is really nice. It takes M2 screws and um, it just holds everything in really good. And you can even see the LEDs in here. So let me actually show you that. So here we go, we have this plugged in. I'm just gonna bring in the battery from this module here. All right, so we have everything powered up. Once it powers up, it all it automatically powers up when this powers up, which is really nice. And you can see the LEDs in there. So there is also a DV, the SD card right there, which we can access. This is a really nice file I found on Thingiverse, and the button is right here. So if I click the button, it should just start recording. There we go. It's recording, which is really awesome. I'm also gonna show you when I power off the screen that this will power off as well. So. Screen's on as you can see, and there we go, boom, off, which is really cool. And now you can use this wherever you want. Now if you have these just a little bit longer, what you can do is what I did first, is I tucked this one on this side here, and I cut a super tiny little hole right here. This is a really great placement to cut the hole because you have the inner wall covering any light leakage this way. So cut the outer wall here a little bit deep inside, and then you can just easily route those. All you'll have to do is just route this little male outside. This is too short, I have a longer one here, but I decided to take it apart so uh, I can do this step by step because I wasn't gonna do that, but then I decided to do it that way. And it'll just come out of here, and um, yeah, you can just plug this guy and just stick him right here. You can press the button anytime, and you have your SD card right there, which is really cool. So now let's take a look at the URUAV. Okay, so this one is actually slightly different. Good thing I've tested it here before proceeding. So we have is we have the, I think because it has two antennas, possibly. Let me see this one. Maybe because it has two antennas, it might have two RSSIs, possibly, but I really doubt it. Um, I don't know what receiver they're using in here, but it's it's not the normal RX5808, so um, I don't know what to expect here. But anyways, here's the shielding. And then what we have is going to be the fourth from the left is the voltage. And as you can tell, it's 3.3 volts right now. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. So the fourth one, which is right here, is our voltage. So voltage, and then we have our ground, and then that should be our video right here. So this is the same way as the other one that we just did. However, the voltage is, is going to be from the, uh, the, or the red, or the positive voltage is gonna be from one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth pin, or we can say the fourth pin from the left. First one is ground, 
and then the next one is going to be video right here usually those are video and just do the same thing we did with the other goggle and you should have dvr however if you are interested in a fat shark mod for this we can do it and i think we can also do it for this one but this one will need some more hacking of the uh, firmware here but we'll, we'll cover that in a later video this one we can take advantage of the av input right here However, with the URUAV, you don't even need to mod it. Just You can just put an AV in here with like a docking and then you're good to go. And I'll show you guys that if you guys don't know what that is. Um, you won't even need to mod it to put some kind of a fast shock module. However, it'll cost you quite a lot of money to do because that docking is pretty expensive and a module usually is pretty expensive as well. So this is how you set up DVR here. Now expect way more mods. This is just a quick introductory mod video. I'm going to do a lot more things with these, especially this one right here. This one I am just, um, I'm just in love with We can do so many things with it. The thing is my Autodesk subscription ended. So I need to renew that before I can design something for it. And that's why I just did this one here. And I'm very happy that I found this 3d printed, uh, cover for the run cam in here, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, just M2 screws in there. And here's the D, here's the SD card. It's really cool. I'll have it linked down below. You could just uh, download it and print it. And well, that's it, guys. I'll have everything linked down below. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.